Hi guys, Crafty Kim here. Some of you may have seen this wood and metal lantern I made a little while back. I've decided to make a tutorial to show how I do it. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you a smaller version, but you could easily still do the larger one. I'm new here, so please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for future videos. Now let's get started. The products from Dollar Tree are the ruler, the small craft sticks, the stickers, a nautical rope, and a piece of poster board. You can also get baby wipes at Dollar Tree. I just got these at Family Dollar. And then the only Walmart item you'll need are those jumbo craft sticks. These are the paints that we're going to be using today. And I just used some makeup sponges I got at Big Lots. You can use whatever you have on hand. So the first step is to cut out our four sides using the poster board. They're going to be one inch wide and five inches long, and you will need four of them, one for each side. I didn't do this with the taller version that I originally made, and I do find that this adds a ton more stability, so I definitely recommend using the poster board even if you make the taller version. Now that all four pieces are cut out, I'm just gonna fold each piece in half to create the corner for our lantern. So as you can see, I cut the curved end off of the jumbo craft stick and now I'm measuring four and a half inches. I'm going to cut the jumbo stick in half. Just make sure to use strong scissors for this. Um, I have cracked a couple, but for the most part it works pretty well. So here you can see I'm just using the original piece I cut out as a guide to mark out the rest of the pieces that we'll need. So we're going to be using the color steel, the color truffle, and also a combination of ink, truffle, and the antique wax. So grabbing the wet wipe, I'm just dipping into the color steel and applying it onto the pieces. You'll need four pieces in every color and it gives it a nice stained look. So for these pieces, I'm using truffle by itself, again, just applying with a wet wipe and then wiping off any excess to give it a lighter color. So for these last pieces, I applied truffle first and now I'm just applying a thin layer of the antique wax. For the last step, I'm just taking the color ink and I'll apply it over the top and then remove any excess.
So as you can see, we did the same thing with the smaller craft sticks by removing the round edge and then measuring out five inches on each stick. And you need a total of eight. So using a gray color, I put the first coat on each stick. The next step is to add the silver paint to each stick. Now it's time to start adding the detail. The first color I'm going to use with a little piece of sponge is the dark gray. I made this by mixing a light gray and black together, and I'm just gonna pounce it all over the stick. There are times that I use my finger to help smooth it out. The next color I'm gonna use is Waverly Chalk Paint in Silver Lining. I forgot to take a picture of this one, but this just helps blend out the dark colors and gives it more of a metal look. For the stickers, I'm just gonna apply two coats of the gray and then I do one coat of the silver once that's dry. The last step we're gonna do is take the burnt umber and create some rust marks on our sticks. Just taking a kind of rough paintbrush, I'm just gonna gently brush it on the edges of each stick using my finger to blend it out. I also added a little bit of rust to each sticker. I decided to paint the inside of each corner with the gray, just so it wouldn't stick out so much with the stark white. And now it's time to start assembling our pieces together. The first thing I'm gonna do is put some hot glue down and put the first piece of wood. I start with the darker color first. I wanted to show you that at first I did this wrong and put the colors in the wrong sequence. 
so it's easy just to pull it apart and redo it if you do mess up. So now with more hot glue, I'm just adding each of the rows around all four sides of the lantern. Now it's time to add the faux metal pieces to all the corners. As you can see, I did paint the corners of the outside gray, but you don't really need to do this step because it really isn't going to show at all. And now it's time to apply our stickers or our nail heads to each one of the faux metal pieces. I put three nail heads on each piece. And last but not least, it's time to add our rope. First, I'm gonna start with the bottom of the lantern and apply one strand of rope around each of the four sides. Once you get to the end, just cut your rope and then use hot glue to hold down the edges. So here I already added the first row of rope to the top. I did it close to the nail heads so that we can put another row of rope above it. I only did two rows because mine's gonna be high up and you won't see the top of it. But if you wanna hide more, you can do one more row of rope to hide the inside. And here it is all finished. I just love the way these turned out and I'm excited to be able to use the two different sizes in my home decor. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Thanks and have a great day.